Hi, Handy here, and welcome to my honest tutorial on ZV, a workflow engine for microservices orchestration. So, in case you are wondering what is honest tutorial, it is a tutorial where I follow or do something and I do not edit what's wrong or when an error happens. Okay, but I will edit some parts that is taking too long so that I hope it's not really, really boring, okay? So I'm gonna try ZB. It's created by the developers of Kamunda BPM, uh, Business Process Management uh, Engine. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's go to the tutorial. Okay, so you have to set up CV and operate. This is actually my first time reading this tutorial. So first we will model a workflow, deploy to ZB, create workflow instances, use workers to complete jobs, correlate messages, and monitor what's happening. So anyway, um, ZB actually has a cloud, uh, cloud beta account, and you can subscribe here and actually i already have one of these uh, accounts but this time i will not use this cloud account uh, the company cloud i will just use the the local setup okay but if you are using kamuna cloud this makes it really really uh, easy to set up a kamuna or ZB cluster. Okay, so uh, if you're looking for very fast first contact experience, go to quick start. Okay, so this should be faster just to get the, the first way. Okay, okay, so uh, some commands might not work on Windows, but okay, let's try if I can do this. On Windows first. Okay, so I will download this distribution version 0.22.2. Okay. So I'm downloading this. This takes about uh, less than one minute on my connection. Okay, so in case you are wondering, I'm trying to compare between ZB and uh, other workflow automation engines but this is uh, the one that uh, I will be trying I had experience with uh, JBPM before a few years ago okay so now I have the ZB here and now I have to start the broker okay I will use uh, resource to the code to do this uh, or just start a command line. So you can just run and the tutorial says just run the broker here. So if I run it from here, means I do it. 
to the improv part. Okay. So it says unsupported class version. Okay, so it seems that I have a Java uh, version 1.8, and it seems that the ZV requires a newer JVM. Is that right? Okay. Where's the requirements section? Anyway, that means uh, I need to download myself a newer JDK, a newer JDK. Okay. This version 11, the latest uh, LTS here. And this time, this will take me about uh, three minutes. Okay. Okay, now I can install the OpenJDK. It's done. So I want to ensure that this JDK will be the default in my computer. already adds it uh, as the first one so no problem so all I have to do is just restart the terminal and now I should be able to do this okay this seems to be working. Okay, we'll allow access. Okay, started. Now let's go back to ZB Quick Start Tutorial. We start, and then let's check the status. status okay. next step is that we have to deploy our workflow okay the example process is here okay I will download this file We will need to activate and complete one job for payment service, inventory service, and shipment service. Okay, so collect money, fetch items, and ship ourselves. Okay, let's deploy the workflow to the ZB broker. Okay. Deploy. 
buy the file it's in here. Okay. Except how do I name? Okay, so that means I have to rename the file here. Oops. Try this again. Okay, so now this uh, workflow has been deployed. Okay. Okay, now let's see what the quick start tutorial says again. Now we can create new instances of this. Every instance of a workflow is single execution of the workflow. To create a new instance, we have to specify the process ID from the BPMN file. In our case, the ID is order process as defined in the order process dot BPMN. Oh, really? Let's see if that's the case. So, the BPMN process is order dash process. Okay, that's right. So, every instance of a workflow normally processes some kind of data. We can specify the initial data of the instance as variables when we start the instance. Okay, have to escape the variables differently. All right. Okay, so now, okay, I will use terminal instead this time. Uh, we'll use the built-in terminal from Visual Studio Code. So, okay, bin secure create instance of the process. Files, okay, this is not nice, but no problem. Okay, shoot. Shoot for. Okay. So this should create an instance. Okay. I have created an instance. Now, what the tutorial says Step 5 complete a workflow instance. To complete all the instance, all three tasks have to be executed. In ZB, a job is created for every task which is reached during workflow instance execution. In order to finish a job and thereby the corresponding task, it has to be activated and completed by a job worker. A job worker is a long living process which repeatedly tries to activate jobs for a given job type and completes them after executing its business logic. The ZB CTL also provides a command response to job workers using an external command script. The job worker will receive for every job the workflow instance variables as JSON object on standard input and has to return its result also as JSON object on standard out if it handled the job successfully. In this example, we use the Unix command cat which just outputs what it receives on standard in. To complete the workflow instance, now we have to create a job worker for each of the three task types from the workflow definition. Okay, all right. Let's try to do these commands using git bash. Okay. Nope. Can I 
students. Okay. And our completed job. Okay, and then you can do that again with the inventory service. Okay. Then I can do ship and service. Okay. Now uh, we can create more instances. Okay. Okay, we can create more instances. I process and variables. ID okay. okay and let me do what I did before I will create a payment service first and then I create the inventory service and last one is the shipment service okay and I can create yet another uh, workflow instance okay cool okay now I can okay so actually we can make all workers running in the background so let's see how that works okay so instead of just Doing that, I can make them run in the background for the payment service and run the inventory service in the background and run the shipment service in the background. So now let's see what happens if I create an instance of a job. Okay, so these workers are then called by ZB or maybe this workers pull uh, the, the jobs from standard input and then simply uh, it outputs what it gets from the input okay so I can create another job and it will still uh, complete okay that's nice now if you want to visualize the state of the workflow instances, you can start the ZB simple monitor. Okay, let's try. Okay, I need to start this. Okay, I think this is part of another tutorial. Okay, so that is uh, the end of the quick start of ZB. Well, uh, this is the output. It's purely console based, no UI yet. And I hope this is already useful for you. Thank you.